So now we come to the part of the soil texturing in the field. And basically that's a very simple concept. We want to evaluate how much percentage of sand, silt and clay has accumulated in the profile because this will heavily influence our growing ability of the respective soil. It is important that we have texture throughout the profile, not only from the surface, but we start with the surface um, at the so-called A horizon here and have a look on the soil texture. There is basically two different methods. The one is that we have the hand texturing and the other one is that I will demonstrate you right now here in the cylinder testing. So we take just a little sample from the various horizons and fill them into the cylinders. One for the A horizon. One from the very sandy B horizon. And one from the very clay rich B to horizon. We give it a good shake. And then just wait about 10-15 minutes. So now we just have a look what has happened since the time when we uh, filled these settling tubes with the three main soil horizons. So the plowing horizon, the A horizon, you can see that most of the coarse material, the sand has settled down here and there is only tiny little components, mostly the organic matter in suspension. So there will be some clay fractions but only to a minor portion. Similar to the next B1 horizon where most of the sand, and you can see this very clearly down here, has settled down already and the color of the suspension is already quite transparent, indicating there is only tiny little portions of clay up to about 5-8% in this soil horizon. Whereas deeper down in the B2 horizon where we have this really massive clay accumulation, we can see all the clay is still in suspension. So the clay particles, which are basically smaller than two micrometers, are very, very light and they will float within the suspension here in the cylinder and it will take many hours until the whole clay particles will have settled down and give a transparent solution. And the same basically will be also shown in the hand texturing. So the hand texturing, as indicated in the guidelines, is a rather easy, simple field test anyone can perform. You grab your sample here, the plow horizon, and you can already hear basically that it is rich in sand grains because the grains grind to each other. You take about a well, sample of that size in your palm, you gently pour some water to saturate the whole sample and form a so-called bolus. So the bolus basically is this ball shaped form that is close to saturation which also tells you something about the field capacity of a soil and you look at the behavior. Can you squeeze it without the breaking it? Can you roll it without breaking it? In our case as soon as I squeeze it it falls apart. So the coherence of this bolus is not very well preserved indicating a low percentage of small particles like silt and clay. The next step is that we try to make so-called ribbons. So we take the bolus and gently squeeze between the forefinger and the thumb and see how big of ribbons we can squeeze from here. So what happens is that we can see it breaks down in tiny little particles, the so-called ribbons, about half a centimeter length. And according to the guidelines, this is a very sandy texture and we will end up with the low coherence of the boulder in, uh, bolus in combination with these small half centimeter long ribbons into a loamy sand uh, texture class. 
So we are just taking now a sample from the clay part of the profile and we just do the same as with the sand on the topsoil we form this bolus. So we might need a little bit more water with that because clay soils tend to have a low bulk density and therefore a rather high porosity which means they can store a lot of water. The problem with clay soils is that a lot of the water sometimes is not plant available because it is stored in these very very small pores. But that's another story. Here now we form this bolus in our palms and we can see it is very coherent. Very very different to the sandy soil we just sandy soil texture we just had a minute ago. When you squeeze that you can form it and it forms like plastiline and you can squeeze it and it holds the form. You can make rolls without breaking it to a very long actually extent. So that tells us we have a lot of fine material, mainly silt and clay in this soil right here. The next again will be the formation of the ribbons. So again squeeze it gently through the thumb and the forefinger and you can see we can squeeze quite long parts from the bolus. That will be about uh, three to four centimeters long, in this case indicating a sandy clay texture with about 50 to 60 percent of clay in contrast to only about five to eight percent of the topsoil.